welcome back. This week's topic started germinating in my mind after I read an article from the American Psychological Association debunking the long-standing belief that the adult brain is best in its youth. And it went on to state that research now suggests otherwise. The middle-aged brain keeps many of its youthful skills, but also develops some new strengths in midlife. But the catalyst that jump-started my thoughts in this direction was a quote from cognitive neuroscientist Patricia Reuter Lorenz, PhD. She's from the University of Michigan. I'm slightly paraphrasing her comment, but she states it like this. This time of life, midlife, brings so many new opportunities to invest in your own mental and physical resources and thus should be thought of as the perfect time for a new form of self-investment. Mind blown. Okay, maybe not completely mind blown because I knew that intuitively and admit it, you did too, that we are better than ever in midlife. But the idea really hit me between the eyes and I just had to share my thoughts with you today. Hi, I'm Sue Krautbauer and I'm a midlife mentor. And my own journey through work and life transition has given me a passion for helping other midlife mid-career, 30 to 50 somethings who face similar challenges in focus or intention in their professional or personal lives. So, everyone learns differently. And understanding the different ways that humans learn is crucial to transformational success. Jack Meserau is known as the founder of transformative learning, and his theory focuses on the idea that all people can and do adjust their thinking based on the intake of new information at any time of life. Now, I could dive into Meserau's transformational learning and geek out on my family social science degree and resiliency frameworks, but I fear I might possibly bore you to tears with too much academia talk. So I'll do my best to avoid that rabbit hole and put it in simple terms. Transformative learning is the idea that people who are getting new information are also evaluating their past ideas and understanding and are shifting their worldview as they obtain this new information, assimilate it, and do critical reflection. Transformation goes beyond simply acquiring knowledge and dives into the way that people find meaning and understanding and application of that knowledge. This kind of learning experience involves a a fundamental change in your perceptions. You start to question all the things you knew or thought before and examine things from new perspectives. And it's uncomfortable but necessary to make room for brand new insights, information, and ways of being and doing. Deep transformation has two basic but opposite halves of the whole called instrumental and communicative learning. What the heck is that, you say? Well, instrumental learning focuses on task-oriented problem solving and the evaluation of cause and effect relationships. Communicative learning focuses on how people, get this, communicate their feelings, their needs, and their desires. Okay, you right-brained folks, don't be nervous about diving into the not-so-comfortable logic stuff. And it's quite possible that the left-brainers are feeling a bit twitchy about tapping into the emotional stuff. But using both of these intrinsic elements is critical for people that desire to make an intentional, transformational change in their lives. Okay, I can hear you taking a huge sigh and saying, Oh, enough of the theory of learning. Sue, how does this apply to where I'm at right now? Well, let's apply instrumental logic and communicative emotional learning to the context of a midlife pivot, shall we? There comes a time in everyone's life when we crave something new and different and better. This craving is to make a change is nothing new. You've encountered the same or similar pivot point 
most probably in your teens or early 20s as you struck out on your own, taking on the world to achieve your impossible dreams. But it feels different now because your life circumstances are different in midlife. I bet you feel older and wiser now, and unlike your younger self, you are more grounded and realistic. You have a much better handle on what is truly possible, logical, and what you believe is just an impossible pipe dream, emotional. Well, I'm going to call malarkey on that line of thinking. By only envisioning what are possible dreams, you cause your midlife brain to look at your past for the old templates of how to achieve things. But, as you may have discovered thus far, it might feel logical, but that's not transformative thinking. Because, well, in the end, you just recreate your past results. What's that old saying, insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results, or or something like that? But impossible dreams, which are often birthed out of your emotional side, they get the R&D section of your brain working. Well, in my glossary of terms, by the way, that's short for rethink and dream, not research and development. It's coupling both the instrumental or logical and the communicative, emotional sections of your learning and your experiences while you actively create something new. You create your future, a new future. By aiming For those impossible dreams, you live life deliberately and you are actively and intentionally working to achieve what you truly want. And you get a strategic byproduct by making your life, your goals, your dreams, and your plans bigger, better. You meet new people, you learn new skills, you become more confident and in fact, You become a new, bigger, better, bolder person. But Sue, weren't you listening when I told you I feel stuck? (laughs) Well, I get it. When you reach midlife, you have a, a plethora of options, a larger range of abilities and boundless potential of opportunities like never before to be whoever or whatever you want to be. But you might be lacking the tools to navigate your way there. Leaning too heavily on either head knowledge or heart knowledge, so learning to merge, control, align your logical and emotional thought processes into a a playbook of possibilities can help you make that change. Live your life to the fullest and make your impossible dreams possible. I'm sure I've mentioned my online courses are based on my compass framework. And this common challenge falls under the P in compass. Prepare your mind for a prosperity plan. I encourage you to visit my website and learn more about the tools that I've designed to help you navigate midlife transition. And I'm not just limiting this to only the dreams of growing your business or having a dream house or kick and tuck us in your career also to improving relationships, reducing anxiety, creating more fun in life, and just plain getting unstuck. So, until next week, like Don Quixote's famous song, learn to dream the impossible dream. I'll see you again next Friday. Cheers!